So now it's time to get our contact page up. You're probably gonna have a few visitors, especially if you've been working on your site this much and making it look cool with cool features, and those visitors need a way to get a hold of you. So let's click Edit Page, and let's start building our contact page and edit with Elementor. And the first element we're gonna create is just a full screen map that can show where your office is. So let's add new section and use one column. And now we're gonna search for map. Google Maps is what we want, just drag it in, perfect. Now this map is pretty smart. We can actually just type in what are basically just words, but Google will interpret the location as long as you spell it roughly correctly. And there we go, that's me. So now we're just gonna click on the entire section settings, stretch it, make the content with full width, and make sure there's no gaps in the columns. And voila, you've just created your first full screen map. Below the map, we need a new section with two columns. And on the left, we're going to have our contact details. So we can click on the Rubik's Cube and we can just drag in an icon list. Very good. And below that, we can just click on the Rubik's Cube and drag in an image. Just for fun. So the icon list is really easy. That's just going to be email, phone, address. So you can just click on the icons, open the first one up and we're just gonna write email, colon, and then our email, which you can all use if you have any questions about the tutorials. And I really do mean it. I don't want any question to go unanswered, so let me know how it's going. Although the YouTube comments are quicker for answers, they really are because my inbox is like in the thousands. All right, so we're gonna get an icon that matches it. You can just click the icon box and then write in, you know, if email doesn't show up, then how about envelope, there you go. So that's cool, and we can do the second one, which is just phone number, list item two. It's gonna be phone, colon. All right, there we go, and then we can do the icon, phone. There you go, and then for the third one, click on list item three. Really easy, just do address, and then we can do our address. All right, and then we can just do the icon, which is just address book. Now for the image, we're just going to choose a fun image of some people out and about having fun. So we're going to grab this image of paddle boarding. Love paddle boarding. People do that a lot around here, although it doesn't look like that, but you know, it's still pretty fun. And update it. Perfect. And then last but not least, on the right, we just want a contact form. So you might remember we installed that contact form 7 plugin. Now we're going to use it. We just have to go to our dashboard. We'll go back, exit to dashboard. And we're gonna click on plugins. And now we're gonna click on the settings for contact form seven. Super easy. You just wanna click right here and then copy this entire short code, including the open close brackets. You just need to click to highlight and then copy it like that. Then just come back to our elementary editor window and we're gonna click on the Rubik's cube and grab a short code short code, drag it in, and all you need to do is just paste in the short code and the form should appear if everything works. And it does, perfect. And update and your contact us page is done.